Hi friends, it's Laura, this is Baker Drinks, and these are the 10 bottles I wouldn't purchase again. So this is random order. There's no particular order to this other than um, I won't be replacing any of these bottles and I will save the absolute worst for less. Um, so some of these bottles I do enjoy the taste of. I just don't think that they're anything special. And with a collection of 300 whiskeys, I really don't need to add to it with stuff that doesn't doesn't do anything for me. I wanna be excited when I have a drink. And some of these just don't do that and some are just downright gross. So we'll get started. Uh, this first one, it tastes okay. It's um, easy to drink, but it's a uh, one trick pony. If you like peanuts, Heaven's Door Bourbon. This is straight bourbon whiskey, 92 proof. So it's pretty low proof and it just tastes like nuts. Um, while I like a nutty whiskey, this is not one that I want to replace. Okay, second bottle. If you've seen my review of this video, you already know. Whistle Pig Smokestock Whiskey. This is like you're licking the smokestock on your Traeger. It, I mean, that's what you taste. Smoky, smoky, smoky. Uh, 86 proof. They definitely punch you with flavor on this one, though. For a low proof, you get a lot of flavor. It's just not a good flavor. So I will not be replacing the Whistle Pig smokestock whiskey. Um, next we have uh, this might be controversial. Um, again, I just don't love this one. It's not one that I hate. I just won't replace it because it's just okay. Uh, this is the Bullet Bourbon um, Barrel Strength. So 60% 100, or 120.2 proof. Um, it's okay. Again, it's nutty. It, I like the flavor. It's just, I mean, I could take it or leave it. I don't need it. So I will not be replacing that one. Okay, um, next we'll go with one that I don't like the flavor of again. This is the um, Rick House Cask Strength. 80% um, corn, 20% rye, straight bourbon whiskey finished with French oak staves. Oh, first time I've fully read the bottle. I guess I didn't even know it was finished. Uh, this, this is just not good. <laughs> it is also similar to the Whistle Pig Smokestock. You get a lot of char flavor, like way too much. But then the background whiskey that you get with it, also disgusting. So uh, it looks like we've drank a lot, but actually we use it for, for marinades and glazes that we wanna, uh, that we're putting on our smoker. So it's okay if it has a smoky flavor. It just kind of gives a little whiskey note to it. Um, but other than that, I don't really find a use for it. I don't even think I want this in a cocktail. It's just, it's just not good. Um, next um, is the Sweetens, Sweetens Cove, Tennessee. Um, I like the idea. This is finished with toasted sugar maple wood. Uh, this is their cheaper bottle. It's not, they're crazy. I think they've got ridiculously expensive bottles. Um, this one's good. It's good. It's not great. It's nothing special. So there's no reason to replace it. Um, I like the idea. I just, you know, if I want to get something, I want it to be special. And this one's just not special. Okay, next one. This one is hyped up by so many whiskey tubers and I just can't get behind it. So this is the Chattanooga 111 proof. Um, made it made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is interesting. So mash bill, yellow corn, malted rye, caramel, malted barley, honey, malted barley. This is very much malt, but like a charred malt. It's, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's just not something that my flavor profile likes. So I will not be replacing the Chattanooga Whiskey 111 proof. 
for all you people that love it, sorry, I guess we just don't love the same bottles and that's okay. There's plenty of whiskey for everyone. Um, next one, same thing. Um, it's not, it's not bad. I do like it. I just like other whiskeys better. So this is the Centauri Whiskey Toki. Um, it's Japanese whiskey, 86 proof. I think it's their cheapest one, which makes sense why I wouldn't want to replace it. I absolutely love the Yamazaki 12 and the Hakushu and um, the Hibiki's okay. I don't know that I would replace that bottle, but I definitely won't be replacing this one. Um, it's okay. Uh, it, it makes good cocktails. Uh, you, you guess you always need something that's good for that kind of thing, but um, there's so many options. I don't need to replace it. This next one, I actually do really like it. Um, the Wiseman Rye Whiskey. It, it does have good flavor, um, but Kentucky Owl puts out such amazing bottles that why would I buy one that's just okay? Um, it's It's got good flavor for rye. So if you're just getting into rye, maybe it's an easy starting point. But if you want a great rye, go for the Kentucky Owl rye over the Wiseman rye. Um, number nine, we've got this bottle. I saw on so many shelves of so many whiskey tubers when we first got into it. And I was like, well, it must be good. They all have it, right? Well, I think they just all have it because they all have it. This is the Smooth Ambler Contradiction Bourbon, a blend of straight bourbon whiskey, 92 proof, non-chill filtered. Um, it's cheap. I guess it's got that going for it. Um, but that's about it. It's just, you know, it's okay. It's It kind of looks cool on the shelf. A little, you know, got an elephant. That's fun. Um, but it's, it's just okay. And last, but definitely not least, this bottle, I don't know what I'm going to do with because I really don't even think that I can make cocktail. I can't make cocktails out of it. I can't, um, I, I can't do anything with it. It's just so incredibly awful, but I will try it for you so I can give you the flavor notes on this one. So this is the Baller single malt whiskey distilled from barley malt mash by St. George Spirits. It is 47% alcohol. So I know it's got this, this uh, design on it, but it's a California whiskey. It's not, it's not Japanese. It's California. Um, and it's just straight awful, but I will try it. Okay. Let's pour it in a glass. See how it tastes. Mm. Okay. Want to coat the glass, really get that flavor going. Oh, that's like, mm, it kind of has some scotch notes like hidden in there. A um, little bit of pruniness. It's like fermented fruit, not necessarily in a good way. You know, like you got some fruit rotting on the ground um, more than you made wine or something. But um, we'll go in for a taste now. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, that has a lot of flavor. Oh, that packs a punch. Whew. So, oh. Um, I used to be really into beer before I got really into whiskey. Um, but one type of beer that I could never enjoy is those, um, those skunky beers. Those ones, and when I say skunky, I'm not talking IPAs. I'm talking those green bottle, just tastes a little off. Um, they all taste the same to me. Anything in a green bottle tastes like this. Um, and then it's finishing with this smoky, peaty type note. So you go from skunk to smoke. Maybe that's for some people. Someone must have liked it because they put it in a bottle, but we'll go in for another, another sip. Oh, that was a big sip. 
Nope. You know what? That skunky and smoky note, um, I think I just drank bong water. This is from California. Maybe they're trying to trick us and 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 uh, say, oh gosh, it's hard to hard to talk. Uh, I think they're trying to trick us and say this is whiskey. I think they just are smoking too much, poured out their bong water, said we should bottle it and we could sell it. Um, I will not be purchasing that again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me what ten bottles you would not purchase again and especially the really gross ones. Thank you for watching. Cheers. I'm not going to drink that again. Bye.